Evangelist Doug Heward Mills and the Healing Jesus Campaign embarked on a historic visit to the Republic of Burkina Faso, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to the wonderful people of the country. A visit that would ultimately impact the nation forever. Upper Volta, this country was renamed Burkina Faso, which means the land of honest people. It is landlocked, surrounded by six countries, Mali, Niger, Benin, Togo, Ghana, and La Côte d'Ivoire. Burkina Faso is located within the savanna belt of West Africa, which is characterized by a generally hot and dry climate with less rainfall than its southern neighbours. The country has a population of about 15.7 million, 80% of which is engaged in agriculture. Unfortunately, since its independence in 1960, the political history of Burkina Faso is littered with several coup d'etats, a pattern that is quite similar to that of most West African countries. At its independence, Maurice Yameogo became the first president of the then Upper Volta Republic. He was overthrown in a military coup in 1966, which brought Lieutenant Colonel Sangule Lamizana into power. Sangule remained head of state until his overthrow in 1980 by Colonel Saye Zerbo. Colonel Zerbo was overthrown two years later by Major Dr. Jean-Baptiste Wedraugo. Only nine months later, he was also overthrown in a coup which ushered in Captain Thomas Sankara. It was Sankara who renamed the country Burkina Faso. Ghana and Burkina Faso are neighbors. Around this same period when Thomas Sankara came into power, across the border, Ghana's Jerry Rawlings had also taken over his country. Both countries now had young and charismatic revolutionary leaders who became friends and close allies. A major interchange in the heart of Ghana's capital, Accra, was named after Thomas Sankara. 
Jerry Rawlings remained in power for many years. Sankara, on the other hand, was killed in a coup in October 1987. Blaise Campaoré became the next head of state of Burkina Faso. To get to Burkina Faso from Accra, we had to drive the entire length of Ghana to reach our final destination. Jesus team made its first entry into Burkina Faso, visiting the capital city Ouagadougou. Ouagadougou is a beautiful and large city, bustling with activity. Blessed with a good road network, it is the nerve center for all commercial, industrial and governmental activity in the country. In Ouagadougou, evangelist Dag Heward Mills and the Healing Jesus team received a warm welcome from the pastors and the local churches.
For four nights in Ouagadougou, multitudes gathered to hear evangelist Dag Heward Mills preach the gospel and pray for the sick. It was the largest crowd ever gathered at a gospel campaign in the country. after its maiden visit, the Healing Jesus campaign made yet another entry into Burkina Faso, visiting two more cities, Bobo Diolasso and Waiguya. Bobo Diolasso is the second largest city in the country and serves as a major center for agriculture and trade. <laughs> For four nights, Bobo Diolasso witnessed the largest campaign ever held in the city as people from all over came to listen to the evangelist as he spoke about the Lord Jesus Christ. Right after Bobo Diolasso, the team headed out to the north of Burkina Faso, journeying through the harsh desert environment of a region rarely visited 
and barely affected by the gospel. Right now, we're close to the Sahara Desert. The weather is terribly hot. It's very dry and it's extremely dusty. But we will still press on regardless and move on ahead, whatever it takes. No matter the cost, we must take the gospel to those who are lost. Jesus team finally arrived in the town of Waiguya in northern Burkina Faso. Waiguya is the most important town in the north of the country. It has a population of about 120,000 people and the people here are engaged mainly in agriculture and trade. Waiguya was an experience the Healing Jesus team was completely unprepared for. It was the first place we ever experienced winter-like weather. We were surprised to find out that in the Sahara regions, it gets very cold at night and chilly in the mornings. 